How does E. coli get into your tap water and how can you protect your home's water from that bacteria? We're going to take a look at that today from at McBride's Water Advantage. So first we have to establish what E. coli is and how you can protect yourself from it. So E. coli is a form of coliform bacteria that's found abundantly in the intestines of both humans and animals and is therefore also found in human waste and animal waste. And when the tap water is contaminated with E. coli is almost always because the water came into contact with sewage water or agricultural water runoff near farms and livestock. Now the question is, how does E. coli actually get into your tap water? Well, well water is most often contaminated by E. coli when surface water that contains bacteria seeps into the well. And as we mentioned above, this often happens when storm runoff flows over animal waste and the runoff seeps into the nearby well. E. coli and other forms of coliform bacteria most often show up in wells that are less than 30 feet deep because it's easier for surface water to infiltrate those shallow wells. And city water can also be contaminated with E. coli as well. And that can happen anytime the sewage water comes into contact with treated tap water that is being delivered to homes. So just for an example, if there's a sewage line break or if it overflows, then water can cross-contaminate nearby water delivery lines. So what are some of the health effects of E. coli in tap water? Well, the most immediate effect you can see of the exposure to coli are nausea and diarrhea. And E. coli is especially dangerous to children and to people who are elderly because it can also cause kidney failure for people in those age groups. And in addition, certain forms of E. coli can cause kidney damage to anyone who consumes it. And it can be deadly. So do not discount this as just an intestinal problem or a quick problem where you say, well, I might go to the bathroom a little bit one day and that'll be okay. It actually can be deadly, especially to young children or elderly population. So that is something you need to keep in mind. So with all that being said, how can you actually protect your home's tap water from E. coli contamination? And since E. coli is a bacteria, an ultraviolet light water treatment system is the best solution for protecting your water from it. An ultraviolet light system is designed specifically to damage the DNA of viruses and bacteria in your water, which renders the bacteria harmless. And you can install an ultraviolet light system on your own, or you can use a post filter after your water goes through a filtration system. And if you know that your water already contains E. coli or has in the past, you may also need to have your well plumbing system disinfected to kill off any lingering bacteria in your home's water supply. And after your water system has been disinfected with a UV light, keep your home protected in the future. And if that's something you need to inquire about, then you need to get your water tested because you'll wonder, well, how do I know if I have E. coli in my home water? I can cure it with UV light. I know what it is. I know that it's harmful. But how do I know if I actually have it? Well, the only way to truthfully know if there's E. coli in the water before there's an outbreak and people get sick is to have it tested. So it's always a good idea to test your water for E. coli.